Welcome to Bibi's Bookshelf. Today, Bibi is reading to you, Hi, Low, Where Did It Go? All About Animal Camouflage by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat. Come and travel with me to find animals that are not easy to see. Camouflage helps them hide. It's the way they're concealed, but these hidden animals will soon be revealed. All over the world, animals must adapt to the conditions of their habitat. Adaptations are traits that help animals survive, different looks or behaviors that keep them alive. An example is camouflage, which helps to protect them. If they cannot be seen, others may not detect them. Do you see the animals hidden? Little gecko. There are different kinds of camouflage adaptation. The first one is called concealing coloration. Some animals change color to match their background. It helps them blend in so they may not be found. See the cat in the hat blending in? Concealing coloration is a type of camouflage. During the winter, this little stoat blends in with the snow with its fluffy white coat. In the spring, it will grow a new coat that is brown, so it can blend in with colors on the ground. This sloth barely moves. When he does, he's so slow that on his shaggy fur, some plants start to grow. These plants are called algae. They turn his fur green. He blends in with leaves and can hardly be seen. Do you see the sloth on this page? Yes, there he is. Some animals change color when danger is near. Predators may not even know they are here. These are flashlight fish. Watch as they swim by. They have glowing bacteria under each eye. These bacteria let out a bright greenish glow, which lights up dark water wherever they go. But when they're in danger, small folds in their skin cover the glow so the fish can blend in. Some animals hide right in front of our eyes. They are hard to see because they wear a disguise. To keep hidden, some look just like things they are not. It's the reason why they're not easy to spot. This leafy sea dragon floats in the ocean. It looks like seaweed as it moves in slow motion. Disguise is a type of camouflage. It's hard to believe when you're watching it swish that it isn't seaweed, it's really a fish. Looks just like seaweed, doesn't it? This violet snail can hide easily. It makes bubbles and looks just like foam on the sea. This flounder looks just like the rocky seabed. We only see its eyes on the side of its head. Scuba dive in the ocean and you may get a shock. The poisonous stonefish looks just like a rock. That looks like a rock, but it's really a fish. The insect on this tree has a life-saving trick. Instead of an insect, it looks like a stick. Do you see that walking stick? That's an insect. Sticks do not run, so when threatened, it will stop where it is and then stay very still. You see it? It looks like another twig, doesn't it? Some animals need to sneak up on their prey. If they're seen by prey, the prey may get away. Alligators look like logs. They sit and they wait. Prey don't know they're in danger until it's too late. Do you see that alligator? Ooh, he's gonna get that raccoon. An eyelash viper and this fruit look alike. The snake hides in the fruit till it's ready to strike. Ooh, do you see that? That's a snake hiding up there. The next time of camouflage at the adaptation, thing one says is called disruptive coloration. Some animals have markings like stripes, patches, and dots. Some have a few markings, but others have lots. Disruptive coloration is a type of camouflage. 
Markings help hide their shape. Is this tiger big or small? Its stripes hide it so we can't see its shape at all. You can barely see that tiger, can you? He's getting ready to get that deer for some lunch, isn't he? This little fawn has white dots on her fur. In a field of white flowers, it's hard to see her. Do you see that little baby deer? While mother finds food, she leaves her fawn behind. The fawn's markings protect her. She's not easy to find. A bittern's feathers are striped, and that's what it needs to keep undercover and hide in the reeds. When wind hits the reeds, the bird sways side to side. It strikes look like the reeds, and that helps it hide. You can barely see that bird. Zebras travel in herds. Their stripes blend in like these. The patterns help zebras confuse enemies. The baby zebra stays close to her mother. Their stripes blend so it's hard to tell one from another. Do you see the baby zebra? It's hard to see, isn't it? A lion moves in but can't tell them apart. Where does the mother end? Where does the baby start? To stay safe, some animals use this survival trick. They mimic other animals that makes predators sick. A bird gets sick if it eats a monarch butterfly. So it won't try to catch one. It lets monarchs fly by. Do you see the two butterflies that look the same? Viceroys look like monarchs, which makes birds sick. And so birds don't catch viceroys either. They just let them go. Mimicry is a type of camouflage. Mimicry is a type of camouflage. Say thing one and thing two. Countershading makes some animals disappear, helping them survive, like this penguin right here. Penguins have dark backs, but their bellies are light. When they swim, the shading helps them stay out of sight. If a leopard seal looks down, when the penguin starts to swim, his dark back blends in so the seal can't see him. See, the seal can barely see that penguin. So counter shading is a type of camouflage. And if a killer whale looks up, the penguin fades out of sight. He blends in with the sky because his belly is white. Some animals hide in things that surround them. They dress up in what they can find all around them. To stay hidden, an Australian tailor ant weaves a nest for itself out of still growing leaves. The leaves keep on growing in front of and behind it, which may make it hard for a predator to find it. This crab covers itself in seaweed decorations that fall off when it moves to another location. When it gets to a new place, what this crab must do is cover up with more seaweed to stay hidden from view. And that's called a decorator crab. See, he decorates himself with seaweed. Camouflaged animals play hide and seek day and night. To survive and find food, they must stay out of sight. They spend their whole lives trying to disappear. Can you find 10 of them? They are hiding right here. Can you find the 10 animals? snake. Okay. The end.